hello friends i welcome you all at circuits bazaar and today in this video we are going to learn how you can interface rgb led to arduino in tinkercad so let's start just search the rgb led so just search rgb led uh, so this is the rgb led place it anywhere now uh, if you will uh, click on the terminals then this is the red terminal this is the cathode means it's ground this is the blue terminal this is the green terminal okay now because we are we need to apply the pulse with modulation signal as well so as you can see that pin number 9 10 or 11 is suitable because they are capable of providing pulse width modulation signal okay uh, but uh, in the starting we are not going to provide pulse width modulation signal but still we are using pin number 9 10 and 11 so just click uh, on the cathode and connect it to ground uh, and we need three register okay um, now these are the three register. Uh, the value is uh, I'm gonna make value 200. Then I'm going to copy it and paste it. And then paste it. Now, as you can see that this is red, so I'm going to connect. Uh, you can change the color uh, to them and uh, can provide uh, the 11 pin now next is uh, blue so you can make the color blue uh, from here blue color and connect it to pin number 10 now you can make it uh, green select the green color from here green and connect it to pin number 9 so this is the simple hardware we have built now it's time to code so if you click on the code then whatever uh, the code I have uh, written over here, I'm going to delete it so that I can show you from the very starting. Let's go to output, set the pin. Uh, so because there are three pins, so we are going to take three pins over here. As you can see that. Now, uh, pin number 11. This is the red pin. Pin number 10. This is the green pin. And pin number 9. This is the blue pin. Now we need a uh, wait code block over here just to provide the delay and uh, over here uh, let's say i want to make the uh, red color so you have to keep all the other pins low and only pin number 11 because you know that uh, we have connected on pin number 11 the red pin okay so uh, you are going to make it high and the rest of the pins are low so let's just copy this block so you can say duplicate uh, first time then again second time okay now in the second uh, let's say i want to make uh, uh, the led green so i'll make red low now here in this case it will be uh, green and in the third case it will be uh, blue okay according to the code now code is written you can see over here as well so pin number 11 is high means red pin, pin number uh, 10 is high it means uh, green and pin number 9 is high it means uh, blue okay so this is the simple code so let's, let's just start simulating so red then blue then green so uh, one thing let me just tell you uh, this is uh, rgb so pin number 11 is uh, red pin and this pin is uh, blue pin okay and this pin is green pin so uh, because it's a rgb led so the pattern should be uh, red green and blue so i think i should put uh, this pin this green pin over here and this blue pin on pin number nine so let me just uh, uh, delete this one and this one now the blue will go over here because it's a RGB red green blue and the green will come over here okay now I'm going to change the color and green is okay but uh, this color is blue so uh, this color is blue over here okay uh, now uh, you will see uh, uh, the LED will run according to the code you can see that uh, first it will be red then it will be green then it will be blue uh, so just run the code now start simulation red green and blue so this is how a rgb led will glow now let me take uh, loads of number of uh, colors so you can do that uh, by using different code blocks so let me just uh, uh, take you to the different code block now i'm going to glow led in a different way so just uh, open the code now you can see that there is nothing in the code now just go to uh, output and select rgb so this is set rgb pin okay. 
just place it over here. Now you can see that if you go to your circuit, then uh, RGB means R is on pin number 11 and uh, G is on pin number 10 and then pin number 9. So 11, 10, 9. So these are the pins. So in the code, you have to mention them. So because it's RGB, so R is on pin number 11 and G is on pin number 10 and uh, the blue is on pin number 9. Okay, now the color it is showing is red color. So let me just take uh, a weight uh, code block as well to provide a delay. Uh, so this is weight code block and it's a one second delay over here. Okay, now let me just run it. So there should be red color because uh, you, can, you, you can change this color as well from by clicking on it. Right now it's red. So just uh, let me simulate it. If you uh, now you can see that it's a red color. Stop simulation and uh, open the code. Now I'm going to copy it. Just copy the uh, duplicate. It. Now again duplicate it. So now I can show you three colors. So first color is red. If you click on this second color, though you can take any color. Let's say I'm, I want to show blue. Let's say third color I want to show. Uh, let's say green. And uh, I'm gonna take one more color. Duplicate it. And here let's say I want to take the color let's say yellow color okay now red blue green yellow so this color should be on the hardware so if you will uh, uh, start simulation then you will see first color is red second color is blue third color is green and fourth color is yellow according to the code if you stop simulation after the code then you can see that over here you have taken four color uh, the green uh, the red color blue color green color and yellow color now if you look toward the code you can see that over here we are providing a different uh, uh, pulse width modulation value so on pin number 11 we are providing 255 the highest okay and rest of the pin pin number 9 and pin number 10 like which is pin number green and blue uh, they are pro we are providing zero over here now in the next uh, uh, run uh, for the blue color we are providing 00 153 uh, the value now in the next run we are providing uh, 255 255 zero okay uh, let's say you want uh, some more color because you uh, there is a huge variety of colors you can get through this uh, just uh, copy the block so you can see duplicate the block and now let's say over here you want some some more uh, color you will click over here and uh, uh, let's say you want this color and if you will play it then uh, on the fifth number like in the code you can see that the pulse width modulation value is uh, 4 pin number red it's 255 4 pin number 10 which is obviously green pin it's 102 and 4 pin number a 9 which is blue pin it's 0 now if you will uh, simulate the code <coughs> now start simulation you can get see red then blue then green then yellow and then the fourth color would, would be this one which is like Kisriya color okay uh, so this is how you can program RGB LED now if you want to run this on your practical hardware you just need to copy this code and paste it in your Arduino editor and just uh, uh, burn this code in the Arduino and just connect the RGB LED so you are ready to uh, see the effect of this uh, like RGB LED so the code is same the, the same code you just need to burn in the Arduino and uh, the RGB will react uh, in a way like it's reacting over here in the circuit in the similar way so thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned and uh, keep learning keep exploring thank you